Hi, this is Tony Sagami. Hey, the Chinese government just released uh, their fourth quarter and full year uh, GDP gross domestic product statistics, and they were really, really impressive. Uh, for the fourth quarter, the Chinese economy grew uh, by 10.7%, and that's up from the 9.1% in the third quarter. For the entire year, uh, the Chinese economy grew by 8.7%. Can you imagine how happy we'd be if we were doing that in the U.S.? Uh, so the Chinese economy is on a roll, and you know, and they're not uh, that they're accomplishing that with any great deal of inflation. Uh, consumer prices, the CPI index, actually fell by seven tenths of percent in 2009. So you have that combination of low non-existent inflation plus dynamic growth. Uh, and you can see it popping up in other statistics. In the month of December, industrial production was up 18.5%. Retail sales up 17.5% in December. And so that's a very, very impressive um, set of statistics that show very widespread growth. Uh, for the year, uh, the World Bank is expecting that China will grow by 9%. I think that's probably low. Uh, I would expect it to grow quite a bit more than that. And I don't mean to just pick on China as the bright shining star. The rest of the area is doing pretty good. For example, Singapore, uh, their exports increased by 26% in the month of December. And so you have prosperity breaking out all over Asia, with the exception of perhaps Japan. And so this is certainly the time to make sure some Asian spices in your portfolio. Um, give you an example. If I had to add just one Chinese stock to take advantage of that booming economy, it would be New Oriental Education. The ticker is EDU, EDU. New Oriental Education has the monopoly, a government-sanctioned monopoly, on the administration of the college entrance exams. they got a monopoly on that. And they've uh, expanded that monopoly to offer test preparation and English-speaking courses. And those are some of the most demanded services you can find in China. The one way a Chinese family can reverse their entire family's uh, fortune going forward is to have one child. Uh, succeed educationally. And like we do with our kids on SAT prep courses, uh, the Chinese do uh, three, four, five, ten times the emphasis on that. And so New Oriental Location is doing fantastic, and I can't think of a company that's going to benefit more from the booming Chinese economy than EDU. This is Tony Sagami signing off until next week.